Hello everyone this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nets video series on C++ STL series topic and this is the first video on STL series and this is going to be the introduction part so I will be discussing what STL is so if someone asks you what do you mean by STL and all that so you can actually give the answer to them okay so it is not a very big thing its full form is standard template library and yeah you should be knowing a little bit about the template in C++ in order to understand this little better and you should not be the master in template because we are going to use template inside or whenever we are using STL but we are not going to create STL okay we are just going to use it so a basic understanding of template is required and that you can get from my video if you search so the main part is these three things it consists of three components they are container, iterator and algorithm. And I see so many people find it so hard to actually understand this, but it is really very easy. See, if you are creating a library, what you need, or if you understand it like this, let's suppose you have one data, okay? Let's suppose one, two, three and four. This is your data. So what you want to do with this data? First, you want to store it, right? So that you can perform some operation on it, correct? So to store the data, you have the container okay until unless you store your data you cannot process it so you have container for that iterator another thing is iterator now once you have stored this data let's suppose in an array you have this array and you stored it or there can be an uh, linked list so let's suppose you have linked list you stored the data inside linked list correct this is pointing to this one this is pointing to this one this is pointing to this one and this is none okay so this is actually a list and this is nothing but an array so these two things list and array comes under container because you are storing your data in this fashion okay now where comes the iterator iterator is another component which helps your library to actually move on this container so can you see this if you have this linked list how can you move on this linked list in this direction only you cannot come back because it is not doubly linked list so iterator for this particular container would be different than iterator for array because in array you need random access iterator okay in this array let's suppose the name is a then you may be or actually you would be able to access zeroth location sometime you may be able to access so what is the mode of the iterator here you can directly jump at any location so the iterator would be random access iterator or something because there are so many iterators and we don't need to know every iterator because we mostly won't be touching this iterator part okay it's kind of an internal actually we need iterator whenever we have some specific requirement like we have to implement our own container and then for that we need some specific iterator then we can modify the existing iterator and actually we can reuse and all those things are available but we are not talking about that we are just here to understand the three things container iterator and algorithm so you might have got the fair idea that in array you will directly jump to this location by giving this and in list you will have to traverse on each and every node so can you see the iterator is different here than this iterator yes it is different if you want to go to this location in array you will directly jump by giving this syntax but in list you have to actually jump jump and then you will finally reach so this iterator is different than this iterator so iterator means you will move back and forward on your container and that facility is given by iterator so firstly okay let's start with the beginning container will store the data so list array and all those things on container like you might be aware of the vector so this is also a very famous container so this is container you have stored the data now you want to iterate you want to move back and forward on the data list or array or vector correct so in that case iterator will help you to move here and there now there is third thing called algorithm and this is 
a very general algorithms already implemented in STL library and this can be sorting and searching, reversing, there are so many things. So you might be looking for some data in your container, then you will go for search library if sorry search is here search library and if you want to sort it you will go for sorting library you want to reverse something you will go for reverse library so can you see this if you will add this one this one and this one it is a complete library you have the container you have the iterator you have the algorithm so you can store the data you can iterate on the data and then you can apply some general algorithms what is available in this library so this is what the stl library is so don't forget to hit the like button guys and i hope to see you in other videos thanks for watching and in other video series i will show you all the containers and algorithms and also this is going to be a full list on stl and if you want the link for this full series you go and check in the description you will get it so thanks for watching i hope to see you in next videos bye bye